Why? Why? People, I have some sad news. It's gonna get cold again. Like, tomorrow. In the upper Midwest. And the Great Lakes. And going into the East Coast. No. <sighs> Uh, no, but all seriousness, um, it's supposed to get cold again. Mm -hmm. I know it's like it's annoying everyone. Oh my god. Okay, so here it goes. Another Arctic blast. Like the polar vortex is coming back for like the 20 billionth time this winter. All right, so here we go. We got to set up. The jet stream is basically going to make another dive southward late tonight going into pretty much next week. And what it is, it's going to usher in another big pocket of cold air. First to target the Midwest, Great Lakes. It'll spread southward and eastward. We're going to have negative readings for even high temperatures in some places in North Dakota and the arrowhead of Minnesota and Wisconsin and parts of Michigan for daytime highs. Overnight lows are going to be like negative 15, negative 20 degrees. Highs probably going into the Chicago area in the teens, um, Minneapolis in the single digits, um, going over into like Detroit and everything in the teens and 20s. Um, basically, the whole entire just cold front just dives uh, southward and eastward. Um, St. Louis, you're going to be back into the 20s for highs like on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, then going over into like Indianapolis, like the teens on like Wednesday and Thursday. And then finally in the northeast come the middle of the week, um, teens, 20s and 30s for highs. DC, we're only going to be up to like 30 degrees on Wednesday and everything. And even in the south, it's been so mild. It's been so nice. <laughs> and you have to get cold again. Yes, so basically um, temperatures like even down to the south. Not as cold as it was like, you know, a few weeks ago, pretty much when we had that first major um, Arctic blast. But I mean, temperatures have been in like the 70s and even lower 80s in some parts around the Gulf Coast area um, pretty much this past weekend and uh, last week. Um, it's going to cool down to like the 40s and 50s again, like Atlanta, Georgia in the 50s again. Ooh. Um, Nashville, Tennessee in the 40s again. Ooh, it's not good. Um, just... It's going to get cold again. I don't like saying it. I mean, it's it's still winter, obviously, but we've had so much cold. We've had record amounts of snow and everything, and we just wanted to end. Well, I wanted to end. I don't know if you all wanted to end. Please. I know you wanted to end. I think you do. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, and then after the cold air ushers in to the east coast basically what's going to happen is we have a jet stream that's riding up into canada and then dipping down to the south and then kind of just almost leveling off going out to the atlantic ocean then we have a subtropical jet which basically is the one in the south it's pretty much cutting across places of mexico and texas and it also kind of levels out and they kind of almost meet up together and on Tuesday night into Wednesday, there are models depicting a possible storm generating off the East Coast as these two branches of the jet stream kind of converge and everything. They have a pretty good estimate that there is going to be a low pressure actually forming off the East Coast on uh, Tuesday into Wednesday. They just don't know exactly where it's going to be. It could be further out in the sea. It could be obviously hung in the coast. Obviously, that means we have the chances to see another, I know, snowstorm. And I know folks in the Northeast and parts of the Mid-Atlantic just don't want to see any more snow. Um, not really sure on exactly the uh, scenario that's going to set up and everything. So I'm going to leave pretty much the snow part of this uh, next cold shot and everything. I'm going to leave it until Tuesday night. I'm going to come up with another video Tuesday when we actually get more information on what's going to happen. But there is a potential for more snow coming into parts of the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic and everything. But oh my gosh, just the cold air is coming back in and uh, just don't want it. If you want any warmth, go out into the desert southwest again. It's been a mild, it's been a mild winter. They've had no rain, basically. Unfortunately, it's not good. It's not helping out with a drought at all, 
Um, but basically, it's like one of the only warm spots. And then places, obviously, in Florida, they've been in like the mid 80s, um, pretty much the past week and everything. So very nice uh, if you're vacationing in Florida. But again, for at least another week, we have cold air spilling back into the U.S. Uh, and eventually will moderate. It kind of has to moderate and everything. Hopefully it will moderate. Of course, we're not going to have even a freaking like, summer and everything. Um, but by the end of this week and going into early next week, we are going to see the temperatures start bumping up and everything. But again, be mindful that it is still winter. So even though it's been kind of mild and warm over the past couple of days, you need to bring all your heavy jackets and everything, mittens, gloves, everything back out again because the temperature's going down. And it's bad. It's bad. Yep. It's pretty bad. So uh, that is the video that I wanted to just uh, do today and everything on the uh, next cold wave here in the U.S. Um, and I'll be back again on Tuesday to do an uh, update on our possible maybe next winter storm here in the um, eastern part of the country. Until then, folks, remember to keep your eye to the sky.